In this video, I will show you how to create a custom product template for WooCommerce. I will specifically show you how to create a custom product template using Elementor and WooLentor. With WooLentor, you can create beautiful product templates for your WooCommerce products. The WooLentor plugin has a pro version, but in this video, we are going to be covering the free version of the plugin. Hello guys, this is Sonic here at Tickle Pages Web, where I do web tutorials just like this one. So, if you are new here, consider subscribing. That said, let's jump into the video. At the moment, this is how my single product page looks like. Now, to create a custom product template, I need to install a plugin. To do that, I go to the back end of my website. I hover on plugins, click on add new. And the set plugins are set for WooLentor. I have WooLentor right here. WooLentor, WooCommerce, Elementor add-ons plus builder by Hastings. I go ahead and install. I activate. The plugin is installed and activated successfully. Now there are two ways you can create a custom product template in WooLentor. You can do this by choosing a pre-made template from the WooLentor library or you can go ahead and create it from scratch. I'll show you how to do both in this tutorial. First of all, let's start from the WooLentor library. So after activating WooLentor, at the left side menu, you see I have WooLentor right here. I go ahead and click on template library. In here, you have different templates for different pages. I choose product details. And under product details, you have a variety of templates to choose from. However, to be able to use some of them, you need a pro version of WooLentor. As you can see in here. So I'll just go ahead and choose one of the free versions. And I'm going to go ahead and use single product page one. So I go ahead and click on import. From here, I click on import to library. It is successfully imported. You can go ahead and edit the template from here. But for any reason, if you cannot see it here, you can also go over to Elementor templates right here. Then you go ahead and click on save templates. In here, I have my single product page one template. I edit it with Elementor. So this is how our single product page will look like now. At the moment, the page is set to full width. I can change the settings by going to the settings gear right here and the page layout. I go ahead and choose default. So now if I go ahead and update my page, then I go to the back end of my website, scroll down to WooLentor settings. Then I go ahead and choose WooCommerce template and the single product template. I drop down the arrow Then I go ahead and choose a single product page one i just created going down i save the changes it is saved now if i go to the front end of my website this is how my single product page used to look like now if i go ahead and refresh the page now this is the new look and feel of my page there's no much difference the only difference i see in here is that the price is now below the product short description. However, the most important reason why you may want to customize your single product pages is to be able to add more widgets to your page. So I go back to Elementor and the search widget, I search for QR code. In here, I have QR code from WooLentor. I can just grab it and drop it anywhere on my page like this. Then I'll go ahead and enable it. So this is how it will look like. Take note, this feature will allow your site visitors to copy the link to your products with their phones. So now if I go ahead and update, then I go to the product page and refresh. Going down, you see the QR code feature. Perfect. Now that we've seen how to create a custom product template from the WooLentor library, let's see how we can create it from scratch. So to do that, I go to the back end of my website. Then I go over to templates, click on add new. In here, I go ahead and select a page and I give my template a name. I'll call it custom product template. 
Then I click on create and it will open with Elementor. Inside the Elementor editor, I go ahead and add a double column section. Next, I go to widgets, then I search for product image. Have product image here from Woolenter. I drag it in here. From here, you can go ahead and customize it the way you want, but I'm not going to mess with any of these settings. Next, I go back to widgets, then I search for product title. Oops. I have product title here from Woolenter. I drag it in here. I can change the HTML tag from H2 to H3. Next, I go back to widgets, then I search for price. I have full length of product price right here. Perfect. Don't worry. Don't worry. Everything will show. So I'll go ahead and add the rest of the widgets I need and get back to you. All right. I've added all the widgets I need. Going down, I add another section. This time a single column. Then I go to widgets and search for product tabs. And I'm going to go ahead and use product data tabs. I drag it in here. Next, I add a new section. Then I search for related products. I have related products here from Woolenter. I drag it in here. Perfect. Maybe in here, I can add the QR code. I have it right here. I drag it in here. Now everything is set, then I go ahead and publish my page. It is published. Now if I go to the back end of my website, I exit to dashboard, then I scroll down to Woolenter, click on settings. Under single product template, I drop down the arrow, then I go ahead and choose my custom product template. Scrolling down, I save the changes. It is saved. Now, if I go to the front end of my website and refresh, you see my new single product page. Perfect. This is cool. So this is how you can create a custom product template for your WooCommerce store. Now, it should be noted that the free version of Woolenter gives you the opportunity to create a common custom template for your store. If you are looking to create custom templates for each product on your store, then you need to check out the pro version of the plugin. Finally, if you want to learn how to create this beautiful e-commerce website, I have a link to the video in the description down below. You can go ahead and check it out in order to learn how to create this beautiful e-commerce website. So that's it on how to create custom product templates in WooCommerce. I hope this video was helpful. If you found value, kindly hit the like button, subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time I post a new video on this channel, you will be the first to know. Keep watching and I will see you in the next one.